Hi guys, today we're going to check out iOS 14.3 Beta 1 and 2 on the iPhone 11. So the first change right here is if you go ahead and open the settings application and scroll all the way to Safari and go inside search engine settings, you would see here a new option for Ecosia. And if you're not familiar with Ecosia, Ecosia is just like any other search engine except 80% of their profit goes to communities and helps in planting trees. So you're helping a community and helping the environment. So with that being said, if you do have this as your default search engine, this is how it looks like when you do a sample search. The next update that we have requires you to have an Apple Watch paired with your iPhone. So if you do have an Apple Watch running watchOS 7.2 or above, and you are around 20 years old or older, you would see here a new section on the health app which is cardio fitness levels. So with this, all you need to do is just confirm your details and you will see here a nice information regarding the information that lower your cardio fitness levels and about your cardio fitness levels. And once you're ready, all you need to do is just turn on that low cardio fitness notification on your Apple Watch. Which is quite nice, if you are doing a workout, you could receive that low cardio fitness alert. Now on the next update is inside the music application. So if you open the music app, and if you go ahead and search or even just view a playlist that you might be already listening to, you might encounter a revamp banner here on the top. And as you can see, we do get this to be displaying edge to edge on left and right. And we have here the nice animated artwork for that playlist. Which is quite nice because now we do get a visual representation on the mood of the playlist that we are about to listen to. And right now you can see that feather rotate. As of now, there are three known playlists that have been revamped. The other playlist that have been revamped was Always Sunday. So as you can see right here, we just have this guy who is relaxing. And the other playlist that have been revamped was Global Hits. As you can see, we have here a globe that is rotating. So how about you guys? Did you spot other revamped playlists? Let us know in the comment box below. Now the next update that we have here is for you guys who likes to watch music videos on the Apple Music app. Now if you play a music video, we now get a full edge-to-edge -edge display when playing a video. And if you go ahead and go to landscape mode, as you can see, we now get the standard clean video player for Apple Music, which is similar to the one that we get in the TV application, wherein we have that nice edge-to-edge -edge display and controls that aren't covering the video which unlike before in iOS 14.2 we just get this rounded small view for us to play the music video and if we do it on landscape we get these old controls now going back to the tv application so if we go ahead here and we just scroll up as you can see we do get updated tint colors so previously the buttons right here were blue but now we do get this nice white tint color which is quite nice and if we go back here you can see if we just clear this out we have here a new view for the recently search which previously it just looked like this now going back to the recent version of the Apple TV app, if we search here a keyword, so for instance, we're going to search here action. As you can see, we do get now here filter toggles on the top, which is similar to the one that we get on Apple Music. So now we could finally filter by type. Now if we go back to the search landing page, as you can see, we got a revamped search landing page, which is similar to the landing page here on the music application as you can see now another update that we have is inside settings again inside camera settings if we go into record video you will see here a new toggle to show pal format so if we turn that on those new formats would appear here on the top which we could always access using the camera application so if we go into camera and let's go to video. You could easily switch here to 
25 fps and we can also do it in hd and 4k but you could set it as your default here on record video settings now moving on to the next update for you guys who likes to use the shortcuts application the set wallpaper shortcut is now back here on the shortcut app so if you search here wallpaper here we have the option to set a new wallpaper also for you guys who are using the news application and if you are subscribed to apple news audio it says that you have a nice ui improvement here on this app and also in beta 1 there used to be a fitness toggle here on analytics but on beta 2 they decided to remove that since it wasn't yet ready now moving on to the performance test running a benchmark test here on the iphone 11 we do get a score of 1322 for single core and 2406 for multi-core which running another performance test using Antutu benchmark we do get a score of 266,610 for the iPhone 11 so that is it guys those are just some of the changes in iOS 14.3 beta on the iPhone 11 remember guys that this is just a beta and we're still expecting some changes in the future so how about you guys? Which update are you looking forward to have now? And if you have any further questions regarding this update, please let us know in the comment box below. As always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.